Okay, some of you asked, uh, what is my lineage to teaching this system? Uh, some of you say, I'm just teaching Hapkido uh, or other martial arts. And yes, it's true. I'm a master instructor in Hapkido and have been for a, a lot of years, probably a lot longer than many of you watching this have been alive. But what you have to ask yourself, I'm an ex-soldier in the camp, I'm a retired chief warrant officer, and I held the appointment of regiment sergeant major. What is the lineage of the unarmed combat training in the Army? Bruce Lee or William Fairburn? Well, of course, the correct answer is William Fairburn. In fact, Colonel William Fairburn. So, our lineage is directed towards him. Now, my first instructor as a civilian before I joined the Army as a young man was Captain Harold Starn. When I knew Harold, he was a sergeant in the Canadian Army Reserve, and he is former Royal, Fort Royal Marine Commando, and later SOE. He was an unarmed combat instructor in World War II, certified by Fairburn himself on one of the very first courses, and uh, a very expert judo player and fencing master and boxing coach. So, that's my first introduction to it. So I have a direct lineage to defend you, which is Fairburn's system, through Harold. Later when I joined the Canadian Army in the PPCLI, Prince Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry, uh, we had many instructors who had been trained by Pat O'Neill, who were veterans of the First Special Service Force. And as most of you know, I did a television show based on that training for History Television. Uh, Johnny Crawford, Sergeant Major Johnny Crawford, who was my company Sergeant Major, was our primary instructor. He ran the last 11-week uh, unarmed combat instructor's course in the Canadian Army based on the O'Neill system. And therefore, I have, through him, a lineage to Pat O'Neill's system. Also, when I did the Devil's Brigade uh, television show for History Television, I had access to much of O'Neill's training through uh, CIA contacts arranged for by History Television and many of the forcemen, veterans of the First Special Service Force themselves. And we have on our website some very rare footage of Pat O'Neill actually teaching. And what is very cool is the veterans of the force who watched me teaching for that television show validated that education. In fact, they asked me, how did I learn it? And when I told them my contacts to uh, Johnny Crawford and uh, Lieutenant Larry Story, uh, they would say, now if you've seen any pictures of the First Special Service Force, one of the uh, ultimate all-time pictures is uh, two members of the force doing a handgun disarm. One guy's taking it away, kneeing the guy in the nuts and starting to disarm the weapon. In the background, you see Pat O'Neill teaching. Well, the guy doing this disarm is Lieutenant Larry Story, who's been a lifelong friend, and of course the other guy is Sergeant Major Crawford. So, I've had a connection with this since I can remember, since 1962 when I first walked into school to start doing judo, I've had a connection to this training system. So, that's my lineage. Uh, again, now as a regimental Sergeant Major, Chief Warrant Officer in the Canadian Army, I've taught my soldiers this for more than 30 years. And that's more than a lot of the uh, jacket wearers out there who are going around claiming lineage to Fairburn. And their only connection is through books. So, you know, that's it. Hope you enjoyed that explanation.